Hi, I'm Rich Brown. Hi, I'm Matt Fitzgerald. And welcome to the final day of CNET's 3D Printer Build Week. So, Matt, we pretty much pulled this off. We got everything to work. We actually printed some stuff, and it seems like overall it was a success. <laughs> Octopus here. This is our final big print. It took about an hour and 15 uh, to actually print this thing, although we spent a lot of time troubleshooting. You can sort of see the setup here. We've got the printer. There's the build plate. That travels up and down when we want to get a print. We've got our spool of filament hooked up here. It's kind of uh, jerry-rigged, but uh, gets the job done. We've got a couple power supplies here going into the 3D printer. We've got a circuit board with the USB cable coming off of it, and that goes into the PC that controls the system. Matt, do you want to uh, talk about the uh, system side Absolutely. of all Absolutely. And over here we have the computer that we use to control this. This is the prompter face software that we use to send the files to the machine and to process the files. And over here on the next window we have Skineforge, or Skineforge, however you want to pronounce that. And this is the part of the software that we use to control the detailed settings, the speeds, the depths. Uh, it's also something where there's a numerous amounts of settings that can be set, controlled, and adjusted way beyond the scope of what we delve into here. Overall, I'd say this was about as hard as building your own PC. Would you agree with that? Yeah, no harder than that. Definitely a success. Definitely a success. Maybe a few sticking points here and there we had to kind of Google around, especially on the software side. Yeah, the actual yeah. construction of it was pretty straightforward for us, but the, the software definitely requires you to sit down and think a little bit about the parts. So overall, this was a lot of fun. I feel like we learned a lot. Uh, there's definitely a lot we still have to learn, though. I mean, like you said, we didn't get into the settings at all. Now, there's so many other things that we could have gotten into about controlling the details of the print. Right. You get into different materials and different print speeds, different heat settings. Like, there's a whole sort of, it seems like a whole world of physics beyond this. So, that's it. Thanks for watching, and uh, hopefully we'll have an actual review of a consumer 3D printer shortly.